Good for them. They'll come out. Absolutely fantastic. Coach uh, Mike here, and I get a special privilege today of seeing what happens after college and high school. You got the Australian national team playing in a 23 and under tournament here in Santa Fe Springs, California. I got a couple of the girls here. Girls, say your names and tell us a little bit about your journey so far. I'm Danielle Stewart is my name. I'm the second base and shortstop for the Australian team. I'm Kaya Parnaby. I'm the pitcher for the Australian team. How do you like it coming so far? You guys are the ultimate travel team. you got to travel. I bet you put more miles on than any other travel team in the world. That's right. It's 14 hours to get here. So it's a direct flight now, so it's not too bad. But um, it's really great that we uh, get to jump in on these tournaments and play so many games just before we head over to World Champs. So it's really good preparation for us. Now you know that first pitcher in the Miss pitch? She actually pitched for me in high school, oh, yeah. Jennifer Winford. She had did great for five outs, and then you guys unleashed the bat. You guys are a good hitting team. Thank you. What, what, what do you account for so much success? Uh, your coach says you all have only been together like two years now, most of you. girls play all around the world. Okay. So um, Kai's in college at Hawaii. I have it. Um, I actually train at home and a little bit actually out in LA as well. So at home we have male pitchers pitching to us. So that's I guess what we would attribute okay. to um, you know the fact that we had good quality life pitching at home and then we can transfer it here and you know so nothing really surprises us when we come to game at bat. So. Very aggressive and I heard the game before you faced the UCLA yeah, national right. champion. Yeah. And, um, Got a bunch of eight runs there, 13 a second. That's a pretty heavy offense. Makes it easy for the pitcher with that kind of hitting, doesn't it? <laughs> Definitely. I love it. I love pitching when they hit the ball. It's great. <laughs> what, what is the, the next, besides softball, you girls are having a lot of fun playing softball. What's the biggest thing you want to do besides softball here? We don't have time for yeah, anything okay. just yet. We have an off day maybe on Sunday, so we might get to the shopping mall how, and uh, how long is this tour going to be um so we're here for 10 days i'll have a couple more tomorrow too so. and then we under pride okay so this is really um i guess so focused pride. game time so we're not really seeing any of the sites this trip because we're preparing to go to world championships world practice. championships what how is it i heard some of you were either one of you on the olympic team i heard you had four yeah I was uh, that must be pretty disappointing to do all that work and get in the normal oh yeah it is um but we still have world championships so and now they're every team, which is really um, important for our sport. And at the Olympics, only eight teams can compete while World Championships at 16. So that's, you know, lots of different countries. It's a really good mix this year. So, um, and it's the pinnacle of our sport now. So we have to showcase it well. And, you know, we're getting IOC members to come out to the games in Caracas as well. So we're going to exhibit it that way and hopefully keep knocking on the IOC's door. And this is going to be on YouTube. So you want to say hi to anybody back in Australia while you're here? Oh, I'll say hello to my mom. Hey. Hi to mom and dad and sister. Yeah. Well, thank you girls. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Hi mom. Hi mom. Coach Wayne of the Australian team. Uh, leading these girls. Uh, you were third base coach, I believe it's all right. First base, okay. Get you back. Assistant coach here. Uh, coach, what, how big is this tour to the girls? Is just starting to see you getting ready for championships? Yeah, this is uh, this California part of our trips just uh, to build up for World Series. So. We're just now um, concentrating on doing all the things right. We're going to do this. Yeah, mostly getting ourselves for the next year. Serious as well. How will some of these teams compare to some of the teams you'll finish there? Is it, is it sort of in the middle? or? Yeah, it's about, about in the middle. There's some pretty uh, there's some good pitching around here. Um, you know, one of the girls came off the uh, UCLA team, the MVP. So um, we touched her this morning and hit it pretty good. So. That was a good start for us. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's a pretty reasonable pitching around here, and most of these girls have played college ball, so that's a reasonable standard. But obviously, getting the World Series is going to be another step up. Big stuff there, especially in the Olympics. That's got to be the tough part. Yeah, it's, it's disappointing. So now the World Series is our number one uh, 
tournament if you like. And, um, that's just, just how it is now. So uh, the focus has changed from the Olympics being number one to the World Series being number one. How many girls try out for your team? Oh, um, hundreds. Hundreds? Yeah. Here we go. I mean, there's a lot of girls who play out through Australia. And, um, it's basically down to the final 17. Who are the best uh, that we've, we've selected to, to have a World Series? How long does it take you to sort them out? Oh, quite a long period. We, we run a national championship which runs um, most of the summer in, in Australia and um, yeah, we start with a field week squad and wean it down and it's um, yeah, it can be difficult to take some time. Yeah, here we go. We're pretty good. Yeah. That's good. You've got a pretty aggressive team that did a great job this morning. Yeah, it's the type of game we like to play. A bit of, bit of speed, a lot of hitting power and um, for the game as well. So we're just trying to develop more. Coach, best of luck the rest of the trip. Thank you so much. Thanks, Mike.